All right, Shockmaster so fans, another re-review of my previous channel, something I saw in the theater many years ago, Legend of the Lone Ranger. Let's check it out. Our movie starts out a, a long time ago. And a young John Reed, I believe is his name. His parents' home is getting attacked. That's a young Tonto. Not sure where his dad went, but they killed his mom. And now he's like orphaned. But Tonto to the rescue. So he basically joins Tonto's Indian tribe. And the two of them become blood brothers. Until his dad shows up to take him home. Many years have now passed, and there's a grown-up John in the middle there. He's grown into a suave, debonair gentleman. Thank you. Our stagecoach is attacked by outlaws. With the help of John's heroism, the good guys eventually prevail here. We meet Christopher Lloyd, who plays Butch Cavendish. Carry out the orders of the tribune. Local bad guy. Outlaw. Leader. I have no room for ordinary men, Mr. Wyatt. They are on a course that will alter the history of this country. For now. John falls for a lady named Amy. And her uncle gets killed by some bad guys. Please, Amy. This is not how to go hunt the bad guys. Where the hell are you going? With you. Well, let's get him. So I guess he's now part of the Texas Rangers. And they're soon surrounded by Cavendish and his men. They're ambushed, and a bloody shootout ensues. They're all killed. Well, you know the deal. All but one. And of all people, a grown-up Tonto stumbles upon the ambush after the fact and finds one lone survivor. hi -o. And when he sees the pendant that he gave him, he knows exactly who that is. Before they can start hanging out as friends again, he's got to nurse him back to health, which of course he does. Well, they find a horse out in the wilderness. This is going to be the future silver. Although it takes a considerable work to tame the beast, he's eventually able to do so. Like I said, it does take some time, but he gets there eventually. And after 58 minutes, we finally see it. This is the guy who set up the rangers for the ambush. Why you wear the mask? Because I was hiding. Tonto, meanwhile, gets captured and is sentenced to hang.
Jason Robards plays President U.S. Grant. The Cavendish gang intends to kidnap President Grant. He is successful. I am Major Bartholomew Cavendish. Yeah. And you, Mr. President, are my prisoner. You and the United States will notice my country. Republic of New Texas. The manifest destiny of the United States will be impaired only slightly. Thank you, Cavendish. You are a diseased son of a bitch. Persons. Whereas it has failed to provide honest leadership and moral courage, therefore, let it be known that I, Major Bartholomew Cavendish, firmly resolve to hold the President of the United States as my prisoner until I am deeded sovereign right of ownership to the lands of Texas specified in this document. Well, it's up to the Lone Ranger and Tonto to come to the President's rescue. <laughs> Two of them cause a lot of chaos. Chase ensues, Grant joins the shootout himself. The president is safe, and now it's time to get Cavendish. He catches them, but he can't shoot them. Sir, to whom I am so indebted, Mr. President, please allow me to remain anonymous. Tonto, I thank you and I salute you. Thank me by honoring your treaties with my people. Yes, we will try. Who is that master? All right, let's talk about The Legend of the Lone Ranger. Now, this is a movie I actually saw in the theaters. Uh, 1981. This movie is not really regarded very highly. Um, there was some controversy because Clayton Moore, who was the original Lone Ranger on the TV show back in the 50s, uh, he still used to portray the Lone Ranger. He used to go make public appearances and things like that. But the producers of the film made him stop. They didn't want him interfering, uh, leading to any confusion with this new film. So he refused to be a, in a cameo. They ended up suing him, saying you couldn't wear the mask anymore. So he would still wear the costume, but he'd wear big sunglasses. <laughs> Um, it was ridiculous. Eventually, after all this passed, uh, they let him wear his whole outfit again. And this movie bombed, and it, was, it is what it is. Uh, Clinton Spilsbury, uh, in his only movie role, uh, played the Lone Ranger here. Uh, according to what IMDb says, he was a complete ass on this set. He was pompous and arrogant, and nobody liked him. Um, his voice, I guess, wasn't the best, so they ended up having James Keach dub all of his dialogue in this movie. But the movie itself... I enjoyed it. I, I, I always liked this movie. I saw it in the theater, like I said. I was a fan of The Lone Ranger growing up. I used to watch three runs with uh, Clayton Moore and Jay Silverheels. And so I enjoyed the movie. I saw it with my dad in the theater. Uh, Manitowoc, Wisconsin, I think it was. I know it was. And I think it was the Capitol Theater, which is not a movie theater anymore. But anyway, uh, this basically tells the, the whole story of, of The Lone Ranger. Uh, how he was a little kid. Uh, his mother got killed. He, uh, he, he rescued Tonto from some... Uh, uh, some rustlers or bad guys, I don't know, earlier. And then Tonto ended up returning the favor by taking him to his tribe to live after his mother got killed and his dad got lost or something. His dad eventually came and picked him up, but he and Tonto were blood brothers by that point. And then fast forward 15, 20 years or something like that, he joins the Texas Rangers to go out and find uh, 
these guys who killed uh, Amy's uncle. Amy was his, his girl, I guess, uh, that night. And um, they get ambushed. They get ambushed by Butch Cavendish's gang. They all get slaughtered. Um, but uh, in spite of the fact that he took a few bullets, he's still alive. And he managed to survive. And Tonto wandered onto the ambush later on and found the one survivor. He's like, hey, man, that's my buddy John. Um, because he had this little necklace and they gave him when they were kids. So he nurses him back to health and he decides uh, he needs to uh, wear a mask, be anonymous as the Lone Ranger, the one survivor. And um, he's going to go after Butch Cavendish's gang and try to bring justice to them. Uh, meanwhile, Cavendish has this idea of uh, owning the entire state of Texas. Uh, he wants the, the land deeded to him. He uh, kidnaps President Grant in the process to do this. The Lone Ranger and Tonto by themselves infiltrate... Uh, the gang of uh, Cavendish, who has about 200 people, as far as I'm concerned. Um, and then some other good guys show up, and then there's a big shootout and everything. Eventually, the president is saved. Uh, uh, the Lone Ranger tracks down Cavendish, refuses to shoot him, instead wants to bring him to justice, which we see at the end of the movie. President Grant thanks him for his help, and uh, he, uh, Lone Ranger says he wants to remain anonymous. Funny scene there, I, I said, uh, you know, he thanks Tonto, and he says, you can thank me by honoring the treaties you make with her with our people with my people he says we'll try <laughs> yeah that didn't work out anyway that is the legend of lone ranger uh perhaps they were thinking they were gonna make multiple movies or multi with, with clint spillsbury i don't know but it just didn't do very well at the box office i came out right before raiders of the lost ark did it just got buried by that and was lost so but anyway i used to see it show, showed up on cable quite a bit i watched it. i always enjoy this movie i think it's pretty good so if you're a fan of the Lone Ranger, I don't know what Lone Ranger diehard fans think about this movie. I really don't, but I, I don't see anything wrong with it. I enjoyed it. It was a good story. I thought, whatever. Took 58 minutes for him to put his mask on, but whatever. I still enjoyed the backstory, too. So anyway, check it out. Legend of the Lone Ranger. It is available on Blu-ray, as you can see. Uh, it looks pretty good, too. So check it out. Leave some comments. Let me know what you think about the Legend of the Lone Ranger. Watch it. Bye.